Welcome everyone, Michael Elliott, president of Amherst College. I'm here with Pulitzer Prize winning critic and author Hilton Owls. <laughs> Hilton, it is wonderful to welcome you to Amherst. Um, in addition to the things that I just mentioned, you're also curating an exhibit here in the Mead uh, Art Museum. Can you tell me a little bit maybe about the exhibition? A few years ago I had done an exhibition called God Made My Face, a collective portrait of James Baldwin and um, at David's Werner Gallery in New York. Mm -hmm. And it was um, a show that I wanted to do in order to give James Baldwin back his gay body. Um, I felt that in the years since his death, he had been justly lionized, and, um, but I felt deified in a way um, that didn't allow room for his complications and didn't allow room for um, a certain kind of uh, fracture um, that existed in his life and in his work. That, those things that make us human, really. Mm. How do we represent um, these many different sides of, mm -hmm. of a great American mm -hmm. artist? Mm -hmm. You know, as, as a writer, you take on so much you write about theater, you write about literature, histories, yeah. identities, queerness, race, and you have, I think, a really distinctive and uh, evocative writing style that makes room for indeterminacy, ambiguity, yes. struggle. We're Americans. We're, 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 we yeah. have to be ambiguous, or the fear, or the ambiguities, right? Yeah, how do you, yeah, how do you, how do you cultivate that? Where does that Come from? Um, I think the imagination really that um, one of the things that I love about working on this show here at Amherst is to remind myself um, that one of the things I love is the reality of the object mm. and how that fosters um, or jump starts my imagination. So I think having a book or a play or um, a person mm -hmm. to talk to is incentive for me to think about um, not only the event of the book, the person, or the theater piece, but um, where does it send me mm. intellectually? Um, how does it inspire me? I think um, on some level, I don't, I really engage in things, even if I don't like it, I engage with things that I care about. Hmm. I think that's, yeah. if there was a short answer to it, it would be that I care about the subject. 